In today's video, we're going to show you how we look for pullback entries when market conditions are strong. And, um, you know, if you miss the breakout or a gap up, sometimes we'll get a pretty decent buy entry uh, following the, the gap up on a pullback to the 10 or 20 day moving average. In this example, we have a chart of lock, life lock here. And um, as you can see, basically we have a, a cup and handle type pattern. Here's the cup and then here's the the handle. And it, the price action drifted lower for a few weeks and that was headed into earnings. And then earnings were released on 8-1. Um, and as you can see, the there is just huge volume and the price action closed above the open, you know, well off the highs of the day. So there is some selling there, but you know, there's a lot of buying going on in there. An overall net positive day we felt for the stock. What is a pullback entry for us is usually something that pulls in for a week or two to a rising 10 or 20 day moving average. And with luck, we had no pullback entry, though, you know, it's hard to argue if the price action were to break out above 1250 here with going long at that point. But luckily for us, Locke um, pulled back in and uh, touched the 10 day in May here, giving us a, a nice pullback entry with a reversal bar off the 10 in May. On the night of 812, when we released our newsletter to our clients, Locke was listed as a buy entry above the high of 812. So there's our buy entry. The next day, our entry triggered on a pickup in volume, and we were long from 1237. And as you can see, there was one little shake out here, but that also, that was a bullish close. And the price action held above the 20. So if one was not already long lock, here's a second entry point over this reversal bar. The high of the reversal bar around the 1231, so 1235, 1236, another potential buy entry right there. And after a few days of chop here, and another reversal, lock finally moves out. Note that these two reversal bars on 815 and 821 did not undercut the low of 85. So over the next few days, lock finally breaks out above the high, comes back in, and we remain long with a 15% gain. And as long as lock wants to hold above the uh, 10 day MA, we'll look to stay long with our full size. So that's basically just another quick primer on how we look for pullback entries after a gap up, you know, a pullback to the 10 or 20 day EMA. You know, optimal price action after the gap up is for support to come in at the 10 day EMA and the price to take off and not look back. Sometimes, however, there's a little bit of a delay, whether that's because the market isn't, uh, the market's taking a bit of a rest, uh, needs to digest some recent gains. So you end up seeing a few more weeks of choppy price action and a pullback to the 20 day EMA that sometimes can happen and and that's still a valid buy point especially if the market has been uh, pulling back off the highs after a decent gain well thank you for joining us today and if you'd like to learn more about our style of swing trading you can visit our website at www.morpheustrading.com or our blog at www morpheustrading.com forward slash blog. Thank you for joining us and good luck with your trading.